गुड मॉर्निंग डियर चिल्ड्रेन आई रिक्वेस्ट काइंडली ओपन पेज नंबर नाइनटीन वी विल स्टार्ट द चैप्टर द थ्री स्पिनर्स डेट क्लास वर्क एंड थॉट ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द पेज थॉट इज बी ऑनेस्ट देर आर सम कैरेक्टर्स इन द चैप्टर नरेटर वन नरेटर टू लॉरल मदर बर्टी जर्टी मे प्रिंस क्वीन सो चिल्ड्रेन लेट स्टार्ट द चैप्टर नरेटर वन वंस अपॉन अ टाइम देर वॉज अ वेरी प्रिटी वेरी ब्राइट बट वेरी लेजी गर्ल नेम्ड लॉरल शी लिफ्ट विद हर मदर इन अ स्मॉल कॉटेज इन द वुड्स सो चिल्ड्रेन वॉट नरेटो वन इज टेलिंग नरेटो मीन्स अ पर्सन हु इज टेलिंग द स्टोरी सो वंस अपॉन अ टाइम देर वॉज अ गर्ल हुज नेम वॉज लेज वॉज लॉरल एंड शी वॉज वेरी लेजी गर्ल शी यूज टू लिव विद हर मदर इन स्मॉल कॉटेज इन द वुड्स नरेटो टू इज टेलिंग लॉरल्स मदर मेड अ लिविंग बाय स्पिनिंग वूल एंड फ्लैक्स इन टू फाइन थ्रेड शी वर्क हार्ड एंड शी नीडेड हर डॉटर्स हेल्प बट ऑल दो लॉरल्स मदर बेग्ड एंड प्लीडेड द गर्ल सिंपली रिफ्यूज टू लिफ्ट अ फिंगर एट लास्ट हर मदर लॉस्ड ऑल पेशेंस सो चिल्ड्रेन वॉट नरेटर टू इज टेलिंग लॉरल्स मदर मेड अ लिविंग बाय स्पिनिंग वूल and flax into fine thread what she used to do she used to make the thread with the help of flax so she was very hard worker and she always request her daughter she always begged and pleaded what is the meaning of begged and pleaded to request her daughter to help her but laurel didn't lift a finger she always refused her mother at last her mother lost her patience mother i give up you lazy girl if you refuse to help me put food on the table you will just have to go and find your own living what mother told i give up you lazy girl if you will not help me i will not give you food you have to find your own living narrator 1 at this laurel begin to cry and scream fortunately for laurel at that very moment the queen happened to be driving by her in her carriage she heard the commotion and knocked at the cottage door what it means children narrator 1 is telling that when her mother scolded her and she started laurel started screaming and crying then at the same time queen came she came in her carriage carriage means vehicle and queen heard the commotion commotion means noise and queen knocked at the cottage door queen what is going on here why is your daughter screaming so so what queen said children what is going here why your daughter is screaming so why she is crying then narrator too told the mother was ashamed to tell the queen that her daughter was so lazy so quickly she made up a lie narrator too is telling that mother was very ashamed to tell the queen that her daughter laurel is very lazy so she made up a lie mother i cannot get the girl to leave off spinning she turns the wheel night and day i am too poor to buy flax for her and so she mourns so what mother told i cannot bring flax for her she is a very hard working girl but i don't have that much money so that i can bring flax for her so she started crying queen what an industrious daughter you have she shall come and live with me i have endless supplies of flax for her busy hands so queen told what an industrious daughter industrious means hard working what an industrious daughter you have 
she can come with me at my home and i have so much of flax for her narrator 1 is telling and so laurel got into the queen's carriage and away they went to the palace when they arrived the queen took laurel to her room when queen reached her home then queen took laurel to her room which was filled with flax queen spin this flax for me and you shall marry my son i care not that you are poor you are a hard worker and that is a fine quality in a daughter now spin to your heart's content what queen said that you are a hard worker it doesn't matter that you are poor but there it is a very fine quality in a daughter that a person should be a hard worker now you can spin narrator 2 is telling and the queen closed the door leaving the girl alone now narrator 2 is telling and the queen closed the door leaving the girl alone it means queen closed the door and she left the girl alone in the room laurel oh what shall i do i don't know how to spin for i would never heed my mother long enough to learn what shall become of me whatever shall i do so laurel was very depressed and she uh, she was talking herself that what shall i do i don't know how to spin narrator one is telling for 3 days laurel stayed in the room weeping and pacing the floor a servant brought her meals but so narrator one is telling that laurel stayed in the room and she was crying and continuously pacing the floor pacing means to see at one place continuously so she was crying also servant brought her meals but she barely touched the food at last the queen came to check on her progress she didn't eat the food and queen again came to check her progress queen but what's this you haven't even begin to sp- spin you haven't even begun to spin queen told laurel that you haven't started yet laurel i am sorry your highness it is just that i have never been away from home before and i miss my mother i am missing my mother your highness narrator 2 is telling the queen looked at the girl's tear stained cheeks and believed her as the girl was crying and her cheeks were tear stained tears stained were there on her cheeks so she believed her queen i understand dear but you must not pine when the sun rises begin your spinning and you will feel better so what queen is telling queen told to laurel i understand dear but you should start your work and when the sun rises you can start your work and you will feel better narrator 1 the queen again left laurel alone the girl went to the window and stared out into the dusk she was startled to see three raggedy women walking toward her and calling her name so narrator 1 is telling queen again left laurel alone and the girl went to the window and stared out into the dusk she started staring into the dusk dusk means dark so she was startled startled means surprised to see three raggedy women raggedy means shabby person like people who are poor and wear shabby clothes walking toward her and calling her name jerty hello laurel we are jerty berty and may we understand your troubles and we have come to help you so there were three spinners and those name are jerty berty and may what they told laurel we understand your trouble and we are here to help you laurel come in then quickly narrator 2 the three women clambered in the window and stood before the girl laurel could see jerty's right foot was huge and flat the left side of bertie's bottom lip drooped down over her chin and may's left hand sported a thumb the size of an eggplant 
सो वॉट नेरेटर टू इज टेलिंग थ्री वुमेन क्लैम्बर्ड इन द विंडो क्लैम्बर्ड मीन्स टू क्लाइंब क्लैम्बर्ड इन द विंडो एंड स्टोर्ड बिफोर द गर्ल लॉरल कुड सी वॉट लॉरल हैव सीन लॉरल सॉ दैट जर्टीज राइट फुट वॉज ह्यूज एंड फ्लैट लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ बर्टीज बॉटम लिप ड्रूप्ड डाउन ओवर हर चिन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ड्रूप डाउन वेन द लिप इज वेरी ड्रूपिंग डाउन इन द लोअर पोजिशन दैट इज ड्रूपिंग डाउन समथिंग इज गेटिंग डाउन राइट सो एंड मे इज लेफ्ट हैंड स्पोर्टेड अ थम द साइज ऑफ एन एग प्लांट मे इज लेफ्ट हैंड वॉज लाइक एन एग प्लांट एग प्लांट मीन्स ब्रिंजल सो हर थम वॉज लाइक अ ब्रिंजल इट वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी ह्यूज Dear children, so far we have learned till here, page number twenty. Now we will understand the rest of the chapter in the next video. Bye, children.